This is Maria Lorena Lehman, founder of Sensing Architecture. In today's micro lecture, we're going to explore how to use environmental psychology to innovate architecture. With architectural design, it is important to know about the well being of the occupants that use your building environments. And for this, we must assess the health of our occupants. And we can break health down into five core or key elements. The first is physiological health. The second is intellectual health. The third is emotional health. The fourth is behavioral health. And the fifth is spiritual health. Architectural environments can impact all of these different types of health and all of these five critical health types interconnect. In other words, they each affect one another. So when combining and looking at all of these holistically, we begin to see that these five key critical aspects that architecture affects in occupants and impacts their well-being. And it does so in terms of three types of interactions. First is the individual interaction where occupants are interacting or spending time with themselves. And as they do this, they are physiologically, intellectually, emotionally, behaviorally, and or spiritually being impacted or affected. The second impact is social interaction where occupants spend time and interact with each other. And the third is environmental interaction where occupants interact more directly with the environment. So as you design, you can begin to look at the five key health breakdowns for occupants in terms of root leverage points. So these are points that you can look to to begin to improve your design for occupant health. This means taking on an occupant-centered approach to design. And of course, as health begins to impact the different interactions that occupants, uh, that occupants engage in, behavioral cues begin to manifest. And this is one way you can tell how your environments are being perceived, being used, and how they're impacting or benefiting occupants. And from this, you can begin to innovate your architecture. By looking at the behavioral cues that your occupants exude, you can distill these cues down into health characteristics, which again are the physiological, intellectual, emotional, behavioral, and or spiritual and you can begin to design these environments so that they can tap into each of these dimensions more holistically to help occupants thrive within your architecture space. Thank you for watching. This is Maria Lorena Lehman, founder of Sensing Architecture. Mm -hmm.